I almost crashed into him with his own car. I'm, my hands are shaking. Such a beautiful day. Ooh. The timing chains are kaput. I just bought this running and driving BMW E61 facelift for only 19,000 Norwegian groans. Or in other words, 1,640 euros. But there's a catch. Something is wrong with the turbo. Since the car was running and driving, I thought it would be just fine to drive it home. But it didn't really go as planned and the car broke down in the lower car deck on the ferry. It has absolutely no power. Like we're driving without a turbo. <laughs> Are we driving without a turbo? Yes. F***ing hell. That's insane. Jesus, the smell of this new car of his, it's crazy. But it's not that bad. We, 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 were, we were testing the car, it was slow as hell. We didn't really know how to how to get home, but now it's, it's not that crazy anymore. But the smell inside my car, well, Emil's other car is... <laughs> it's not good, it's not good. Also got some pretty okay winter tires and good summer tires. I think it's a good deal first hill climb. I mean, for now it's going pretty good. We're driving 70 kilometers per hour. It's pretty fine. Second hill climb going pretty well. Driving 7. Okay, well, we're slowing down, but it's fine. We're driving 50. Slowing down. <laughs> One out of three done. I don't know what's going on. He just pushed the car a bit. Now there's black smoke. Oh, <laughs> oh, papa. That definitely doesn't look good. That's for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> we made it to ferry number one. Now only two huge tunnels to go. Yeah. I almost crashed into him with his own car. I'm, my hands are shaking. So as we were driving on the boat, they told us to go down. We go down and I see this guy picking up his radio to talk to his colleague. And I'm 100% sure it's because the car was smoking and he'll get stopped. Ay, ay, ay. Jesus Christ. The plan is he starts the car as late as possible so it doesn't smoke everything down here. Now I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> no way. Oh no. What? Should I go? Oh my god. Should I go? I can't get it down to park. Oh my god. Now. Drive? Go, go, go. Okay, go. Okay, Dobra, you good now? We stop yeah. here? Go, go. Oh, wow. My heart. Wait, I couldn't get it out of gear, nothing like that. How did you get it out of gear? The manual way I pulled out the plastic around it and I used a screwdriver to wrench it out of gear. Damn. Oh, damn, I did not expect that. Dobra, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. This is how far we got. Nice bus stop. We were starting to get worried that we need to... <laughs> we need to keep riding the boat back and forth until we figure something out. Since his car was stuck in park. Luckily he's a BMW fanatic. So he even wears BMW clothes. Look at that. <laughs> so he knew how to get it out of, out of park manually. Oh my God. Such a beautiful day. Okay. On the road again. Put on the strap. Hopefully it will hold. Need to get through the big tunnels. Ay, 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 ay. I wonder what, what people were thinking. What was that? Who was honking, Gurva? Huh? <laughs> Someone was honking also. Yeah. Gurva, what you want? The guy broke down. What do you want from me? Oh my god. Man, these tunnels are a nightmare for me. Gurva. how 
he said like five words that whole entire <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, three out of three tunnels at least. Oh, oh police, police. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Touch it. So this is my 2008 BMW E61 facelift. It has a N47 2 liter diesel engine with 247,000 kilometers. It was running and driving, at least when I bought it. Then you guys saw what happened. It has nice half leather interior it has also a big iDrive another thing apart from the turbo that is wrong there was a fault for the leveling control system uh, and there can be many causes for it both sides are pretty similar maybe left side is a bit lower the battery is completely out what the charger broke now the charger should be working. First is to remove the everything here. So we can check the, sh the, the play on the turbo. We probably need to remove the injectors because, well, they are leaking. So we need to change the copper washers, but as well, so we can turn the engine over because now the engine is like locked up because I think oil from the broken turbo seal ended up in the intake, which then found its way down around to the combustion chamber. Because right before I shut the car off, the car started running very rough, like shaking very much, smoking very much. So probably at the end, it was like almost getting like a runaway diesel. Or as in Eastern Europe, we say, Raznos. There's oil in the cylinders, which caused after the engine to just not turn on because it couldn't spin the engine over because it was like kind of a hydro lock with oil. At least that's my theory. So to be honest, there's pretty good access to the turbo. Ooh, the vortex breather is almost completely clogged up. Oba. Yeah. The shaft is not broken or anything, but there is very much play in it. Boom. The heat shield is off. Yes. Yep. Now I have removed oil return. Now I'm gonna remove the oil feed line. That wasn't that bad to remove. Definitely can't complain. Now I want to remove the injectors. Now all of them are out. Ooh, look at all this soil. Okay, so injector number four came out without the washer. Perfect, I got the last washer out. the DPF is looking inside. I have no idea what happened. Yeah, everything is falling apart.
eight, 26. Hold it tight. Oi. Here we have another DPF. change through an intercooler this pipe you can take out from the top all pipe you can take out mm, this one is not so bad ah. <laughs> clean intercooler going back in Wait, it's in the way, this hose, ne? Yeah, a little bit. Just like that. Here we have another turbocharger. We need to remove the oil return because the pipe is still on the car yep that now it should be ready to go back in the car now the big bracket bolt yes so now the oil return line is tight from under and the turbo bracket. Now oil feed line, banjo bolt with new crush washers. Beautiful. The banjo bolt with the crush washers are crushed. Exhaust clamp. So this bad boy now. <laughs> that took longer than it should have. Now back in with the EGR manifold bolts that I literally didn't even need to remove. Now on with the high pressure pipe. So this car has a KN ear filter. Should be good. So I think I want to crank the engine over at least for a few seconds so oil pressure builds up in the turbo. It doesn't even want to let me turn the engine over. When I check for voltage on the terminals, it is 12. But if I check the voltage between the positive terminal on the chassis and the negative terminal on the engine, it's only seven. So I don't know, maybe the ground for the engine is bad. So now after some troubleshooting, I checked all the fuses, everything. I couldn't find anything. Then I checked the ground cable from the engine to the chassis and it was looking kind of weird, a bit old. So I put this on, just a 
ground and I decided to try it. So now it's at least cranking and wanting to start. But this thing is very hot. So the engine ground is right there. And you can see that this part here is looking a bit crusty. So here's the old one, the state of it. So I'm back and this is some universal uh, ground cable. It's like this, but it's pretty similar. And I have used this on a one series before, BMW, and it was working just fine. So I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay with this one. Let's try now. Come on! Yes! <laughs> Smoking a lot though. Ooh! Dude, there's so much smoke. Holy cow! filter So as you guys probably heard in the previous clips, the timing chains are kaput. They absolutely need to be replaced. You can hear them slapping around in the engine. This car has done 247,000 kilometers and the previous owner did say that the timing chains were replaced by the owner before that, but maybe he's lying. Seems like it. So we need to replace the timing chains and that's gonna be a big one. So in the next video, we'll need to drop the gearbox, drop the oil sump, remove the valve cover and replace the timing chains. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and stay tuned. Girl, I'm sorry, but I'm not the one you want. I won't last this long, the feelings that is gone. It's a prison in my head when you're laying in my bed. Still think of what you said.